Hello YouTube, Whistle back again, and we're in the room today. Um, we're going to do a video, I'm not sure how long this will be, uh, but this is on Campo del Iron Meteorite. Campo del Cielo, something. <laughs> um, combination with tectites. Now I have combined it with my Libyan desert glass, so I can't really talk about how the combination of with it with like Agni Manatite or Sintanami, um, Moldavite or like Darwin glass. Um, I've got like all of the tectites. Where's my keys? Hmm. I'll show you all of them in a sec, but show you the, the Darwin glass quickly. Um, so this is me Darwin glass. Rather small. It looks pretty cool though, it's shaped like that. Um, that's just on my keyring with some stuff. EMF stuff and some other stuff. Um, sachet bags. Yeah. Next bit. Here is my Libyan Desert Glass one. With the iron attached to it. Don't know if you can see that, but that thing right there is the meteorite iron attached to the Libyan desert glass. Now I do have some Herkimer diamonds, four of them around this, so this is rather energetic you could say. Um, but I'll explain the combination of the two. Um, I wear my Moldavite, I've already got a small Moldavite here, um, with black tectite and a Lemurian quartz, and then my Sintanami is with a choker that I sometimes wear, that's got amber on it as well. So there is me Sintana or Agni Malatai this one is. I think there's like di three different versions of like that look the same. Um and that's got like my amber on it. My Darwin glasses are my key rings. I can't find them. The Darwin glass is very young. Um and not as potent as any of those. Anyway, combination of both a meteorite and a tectite. Sounds pretty Powerful, right? Well, it is. So the Campo del Cielo meteorite is actually very similar to Libyan desert glass in the properties. Um, so it does resonate with all the chakras, but instead of like solar plexus and soul star, it's more like root and earth star chakra. So the reason that's why I put them together, I was like, actually, no, it's not. I just kind of intuitively put it together. And then after the fact I put them together, I realized, oh, Wait a sec, that works now. Anyway, so I put them together. I had it, um, I had my little iron. Th I thought the iron was a lot bigger when I bought it. I thought it was going to be like that big. Um, and then the pictures of rulers were like, I didn't clock that it says millimeters and not centimeters. So yeah, as you can see, it's tiny <laughs> compared to what I thought it was. I've got a bit. Um, so yeah. I highly doubt that's going to show up on the camera because I can't see it showing up on the camera. I'm using my phone camera, which is really bad. Um, but yeah, Campo del Cielo Meteorite, coarse octahedrite, Argentina, found 1576. Um, so yeah, the, the iron resonates with all chakras, uh, root and earth star, quite predominantly. So what is the earth star? The earth star is... Chakra below your feet it is your connection to the earth. I've actually got a little booklet that will describe the earth star quite well for you in one of my oracle decks. Might as well get it out and show you. Actually, we'll talk about the soul star as well because it, it, it talks about the soul star chakra and the root star chakra. Oh, the earth star chakra, sorry. Um, so, quickly get that out. Earth star, initiation, oneness, collective consciousness. Anchoring transmissions from the higher realms, sacred earth knowledge, integration of the divine, working with grid lines. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing there because like I'm pretty sure when I got this, I started doing like crystal grid working and prior to getting this, I was reading about ley lines slash dragon lines, which is another word for ley lines. Um, I feel like you might want me to read this out. I have a feeling. Um, okay. Earthstar, you're standing on a gateway into the unknown, with trust in your heart and ancient remembering in your soul. So how to restore the Earth chart, Earthstar Chakra says here, explore clearing meditations. So, 
a root meditation is a good clearing meditation, which is standing meditation, pushing your energy down into your root, out of your feet, into the ground, connecting to the earth stuff. Uh, self energy work and put intention into meaningful parts of your life. The themes of it is integration of spirit and the eternal self. How you balance spiritual and physical reality. Okay, so that's the earth star. And I'll quickly say what the soul star shows here. And this is just a uh, oracle book, sorry. This is the Lemurian oracle deck. Um, a soul star, chakra. Merging with the divine, transcendence, letting go, being filled with divine light, channeling, karmic records, the bridge between spiritual and physical realms, ascension. Remember that you are an infinite being with the ability to expand your awareness beyond space and time. Remember. Consider that paradigms outside your physical reality may be unfathomable until we raise our vibration and think outside the mind. Meditate on the idea that everything that is ever and ever will be is happening simultaneously, right now, across multiple dimensions. Themes, karma, or what can be implemented or cleared for your optimal progress to ascension. Okay, Earth Star and Soul Star in my Oracle decks. So, um, the combination of the two. Sorry about that. I thought, you, if you're watching this, you might have been interested in wanting to know what the Earth Star and Soul Star is. Uh, so I thought I'd read it out. Anyway, the combination. I love it. Like, I love it. Um, I love Livian Desert Glass on its own. This is my favourite Tektite, in all honesty. I prefer this over Moldavite. Um, that's just me. I just resonate with it more you could say um i mentioned it in a previous video like when i got this piece it was it was like this is my salagram it was like it came back to me like i've had it before um so that's why not why i got it but that's why i felt when i had it so the combination of both is in all honesty with these two it is like the perfect combination again one resonates with the earth star one resonates with the soul star they basically work together so well um the libyan desert glass for some people may be a bit too much um i do sometimes wear libyan desert glass earrings which i'm not wearing but they are here i've got some triangle ones they're more expensive than the circle ones but they they're thicker so they've got more desert glass in it. Um, I've not been wearing them because I forget to take them off when I sleep and then I keep poking my head when I'm sleeping. Anyway, back to the combination. So Libyan desert glass is a very uplifting energy. Um, not a very uplifting energy, but an uplifting energy. It can, especially if you're wearing four Herkimer diamonds with it, be a bit much. Um, but then I added the iron. Now I added the two Herkimers and then the iron. Now it wasn't because the two Herkimers were too much. Now the reason why there's four Herkimers on here is because I did put two pieces of Libyan desert glass on each side and then they were odd. So I took them off, cleansed them and sold them because they were just, it is odd. One was bigger, one was smaller. I was like, no, it looks weird. So I just put them on, looked weird, took them off. Um, all right. Yeah, what I was saying, the, the living desert glass can be very uplifting. It is very gentle uplifting energy though. It's not like a, a Moldavite, which is... I feel Moldavite, even though it's not uplifting, it is more potent than Libyan desert glass, if you know what I mean, if you've worked with them before. Um, but this, the combination, it basically... Again, it's perfect. <laughs> it's like, it's not too, it's grounding and uplifting. Grounding and uplifting is at the same, both at the same time. It's like, they were meant to be together. Um, that's all that I could say on that, really. Um, I do recommend getting a piece and attaching it to Libyan Desert Glass. If you've got a piece of Libyan Desert Glass. Um, but it is, I'm pretty sure they don't rust either. From what I checked, it says that it doesn't rust if it gets wet. I don't try to get these wet anyway, obviously, um, because it's going to tarnish wire and stuff. But apparently it doesn't get 
like rough season, which is good. Um, it is very energetic. In all honesty, it's more energetic than this piece of black tech type that I'm wearing. It's a protective stone. Well, it's not a stone. It's a, well, yeah, it is. It's a mineral. Um, it doesn't necessarily, it isn't necessarily a protective stone, but it does have that kind of energetic shielding properties. Um, I feel shielded when I'm wearing it, as strange as that sounds. I don't really feel like that with black gems and stuff. I just feel like it's a blockage, like it's blocking things. Um, but with the Campo de Iron, it's like a shield. Is, that's that's the best way I can, I can explain it. Like when you're wearing it, it's like a shield. Yeah, that's uh, that for today. I don't know how long that is going to be, but that is again my video on Campo del Cielo. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Um, and Libyan Desert Glass Combination slash Tektite Combination. Feel free to try this out with other Tektites. Let me know what it's like with other Tektites. Um, if you tried it with other Tektites, uh, just comment down below, yeah? I do want to try this with other tech tights, but I don't want to like remove this and then put it back on and stuff like that. So I might just get another piece. But I'm also interested in palisite as well, because it's got alien crystals in it. Yeah, alien crystals. Check it out. Palisite with olivine crystals in it is a meteorite with alien crystals in it. It's expensive though. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't already. Thank you.